Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Valerie and I film mostly vlogs. We do unboxings here and there, try on hauls and a little bit of fashion. So if you're into any of that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And now we're getting to this little route of my weight loss journey. So I'll definitely be sharing with you guys meal ideas, meal prepping and all of that good stuff and what helped me to lose weight so that's what we'll be doing today though like in a specific today's video it's going to be just my entire weight loss journey so get comfortable and let's just get right into this video all right guys so let's just get right into it i did write topics and i did ask my girls back on instagram for like any specific questions that they had if they had any questions or just anything like that and i have those as well so we're gonna go in order so this video is like super organized and that way you guys can just like really focus <laughs> and get like the best information um from this video and i really hope that it helps if you're in this situation where you're trying to lose weight because trust me when i was trying to lose weight i would watch like 20 youtube videos a day of like what to do to lose weight what to eat like things like that and they were really helpful for me just being able to see other people's journeys and just know that you are capable of doing it like you can do it sis like i promise you that you can get it done all you have to do is really want it and be consistent and i promise you you'll get it done and it's perfect because we still have time before summer to get that body going sis so let's just get right into it let's start with a little bit of my background and how much i was my start weight and all of that good stuff so when i started my weight loss journey this was back in 2020 with the whole pandemic this is probably like everybody else we all gain weight during the pandemic but for me and specifically when i started to gain like the most weight it was literally like two months into the pandemic um my job closed so um i was working from home and i was just eating everything in sight like i feel like everybody was going through the same thing like we never been through a pandemic before like <laughs> it was crazy so I was just eating my sleeping schedule was messed up i was not even drinking water like at all um it was just horrible like i gained a lot of weight and at first i didn't notice because because we weren't going anywhere i wasn't really getting dressed like i was always in my pajamas or just comfy clothes at home and when it was time to get dressed after a year of being home, I was like, oh my God, nothing fits. So that's when I realized I'm like, holy shit, like I, I fucked up. Like I gotta get, <laughs> I gotta get my life together. So that was during the pandemic. But right before the pandemic, I was getting sick all the time. Like I had kidney stones and I was eating so bad drinking soda like if it was water juice all of that good stuff and no water like no water whatsoever so i was in and out of the hospital for months with the kidney stones and it was super painful like i had to go through the, like it was the worst so after that my doctor was like girl if you don't really get it together like this is really gonna go downhill for you so that's when i really like I was like, okay, I really have to get it together. Then the pandemic hit. So I was like, wait, there's no gyms. There's no nothing. I forgot about all of that. And then I just started eating again like crazy. So with that, in that time frame, I got to, I was 212 pounds. Like that was the biggest I ever been ever, like my entire life. So it was really shocking for me and... I remember I had ordered a scale because I didn't have one at my house, but I already knew that I had gained weight, like I felt it. So I ordered a scale and 
when I got on that thing and I seen that it said 212, I remember the last time that I had weighed myself, I was 168, which was like, whoo, child, I was not getting on top of the scale for like a long time. But the last time that I remember getting on a scale, I was 168 pounds and during the pandemic, yeah, girl got all the way up to 212 pounds. The thing is with my body, it sometimes I don't realize right away that I gain weight because I have like a long torso. So my stomach is like long, if that makes sense. So before I can, like, I, I have to get really big in order for me to be like, oh, I have a belly. Um, Cause it's like, it just spreads to the side. Like I get wide. Um, same thing with my legs and my butt like that's how I notice when I'm gaining weight and then my face obviously but my arms were huge like everything was just plus I was unhealthy like um, most importantly yes I was depressed by the way I looked but I was so unhealthy like I was killing myself mind you I'm 24 years old like this is my prime like I have to take care of me and as you get older, I promise you, it gets harder to lose weight. So don't wait any longer to do it. Like, don't. Because when I was 18, 17, I was never, like, on diets. I always been a bigger girl since I was, since I can remember. Like, I just been big bone and curvy. Like, even when I was in middle school, like, I was still curvy. Like, it was not a good experience. But anyways, I always had, like big thighs a butt like all of that so it's easy for me to gain weight if i don't stay on track of my meals but because i was so active like in high school i played sports i used to walk everywhere because i didn't have a car like but after that after high school sir yeah i slowly started gaining weight gaining weight gaining weight and then pandemic hit boom and that really did it for me so the day that i realized that i was like oh shit like i have to lose weight for my birthday back in May of 2020, um, I'm a big birthday person. So even though it was the like we were in lockdown, we were home. I still had like dinner at my house with my family and like my close friend and my boyfriend at the time, like my boyfriend. And when I was getting dressed and I was taking pictures, I was like what the fuck like it was my first time taking pictures in a long time so i was like if i can find those pictures i would pop them up like on the screen for you guys to see but let me see if not i was going through something because i cut all my hair off all my hair off and and then i get all that weight so it was like i was going through it just know that i was going through it so on my birthday, when I weighed myself, that I literally weighed myself, the, I weighed myself the day after my birthday, and I was 212 pounds. I think I still have the picture of the scale because I took a picture to show my mom and like cry because my mom and my brother they stay on top of me, not because they're being rude or mean or anything, but they know how I am with my body and myself, like how much I care about that, and they tell me like watch it like you know because then you're gonna regret it later and i'm glad that they were on top of me because i didn't notice until my mom started saying like wow you need to stop like really you need to stop eating like this much and i'm glad that she did because if not i i would have been like on denial and just doing the same bullshit that i was doing actually look i found the pictures <laughs> be prepared I mean, you can imagine, 212 pounds on 5'3", like, child, it was just a disaster. When I look at those pictures, I literally want to scream, like, okay. Oh, I, I even deleted them from my phone, so I don't have them anymore. I deleted them. You can only see, like, my face and stuff, because that's, it got to me. Like, I don't even have anything I have here. And... Um, yeah, that's like the only picture I have from that because I deleted everything. Um, because it was just like playing with my, <laughs> with my cabeza. But yeah, after that, I was like, okay, Valerie, enough is enough. We're going to be out of the pandemic eventually and summer is around the corner. So if you don't get your shit together now, you're going to be depressed in the summer. 
because the previous summer I was smaller so I was like fine but if I would have kept going I would have been 230 pounds <laughs> and that would have been crazy because you know how hard it's I mean if you're watching this video I'm sure you're either trying to start your own weight loss journey or you're currently like in your weight loss journey and you know this shit is hard like it is so hard <laughs> From like being disciplined with what you eat, just everything. It's really, really, really hard, but it's doable and it's really rewarding. Like just being able to feel good and just be healthy. And every time you put something on, you're like, I'm that bitch. Even though you should feel like that regardless. But I just know for me, like when I used to get dressed, I'm like, okay, this is not, I'm not wearing that. Like I was just wearing big shirts. <laughs> big shirts big hoodie and yoga pants because i like refuse at that point to buy new um jeans jeans are expensive so if you're going through a weight loss journey i would literally stick to at least like two pair of jeans and that's it and then that'll be like your mentality like once i lose weight then i'll treat myself that's what i did like i literally kept two pair of jeans and i said so i at that point i just knew that it was time for me to lose weight losing weight it's super hard it's doable though like i promise you you can do it so let's just get right into the questions so we can get this party going and i can give you guys the tea on how i was able to lose 30 pounds pretty much i lost that weight in like by like two to three months it was in like a long wait at one point i did hit like a plateau and that was depressing like <laughs> but we'll get into that as we go so we did why i started my weight loss journey starting the weight and i'm gonna, I'm gonna say like there's like five things that you should do um by five maybe more we'll see but let's start with five five things that you should do off the bat if you want to start your weight loss journey number one Take progress pictures like that was so helpful for me just being able to track my progress like i'm glad that i took those pictures back then because that just kept me motivated i i know this might be like a little extreme and i'm not i should have said this at the beginning but i'm not like a nutritionist i'm not a professional like this is just what worked for me um and i've been able to keep this way off for like it's been like two years now so um just keep that in mind that your body might work different than mine like we're different people so always consult with your doctor if you have like further questions and things like that but i'm just giving you guys like what worked for me and my experience throughout my weight loss journey so number one like i said progress pictures i used to put i have my picture like on my lock screen like not on the lock screen but inside like the one that's inside i don't know what that was called but the one that only you can see, like you have to put your password to get in there. I had it there, so every time I open my phone, I would look at that. And I'm just like, okay, I cannot wait to update this picture to see my progress. Like, that was one thing that kept me accountable. Number two, I know this might be annoying, but track tracking your meals. Like, we're gonna get into that, but tracking your meals, it's really like a big key to success in this journey for you. Like, I promise you. Another thing, I would literally, before you even start a diet, sis, just cut out all juice, soda, all of that. Let's stick to drinking water throughout this journey. Like, I promise you it's going to make it much easier for you. Get an app to track your water intake. I know this might seem like stream as fuck, but it was just going to keep you accountable. Like, it sends you the one I had. I'm going to look for it so I can, like, link it down below for you guys or put the name but the one that I had, it would send me reminders. Like, you, um, it will tell me, like, okay, you have to drink water now in order to be able to meet your goal by this time. I just want to be done drinking water by, like, 7 because I don't want to have to be waking up all night peeing. Like, I don't want that. So, it would ask you for your weight, your gender, like, all of that stuff, all that information to tell you, like, what water intake you should be taking, you know? Because we're all different, like I said, different bodies, different height, all of that. So, it tells you how much water you should be drinking and he like device it for you throughout the day so you're gonna be drinking this much from seven to nine like that and that way you know like 
I used to be like, oh shit, I gotta chug, 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 chug because it's about to be time for me to drink more water because that's what it tells you. So I'll definitely put that app down below. Tracking your food, progress pictures, and tracking your water. We got three. Number four, I would say you cannot go into this thinking like, it's, I'm going to be doing this diet for two months and I'm done. Like, you have to change your mentality. Like, this is a lifestyle. You cannot. Honestly, tell me how many times you have started a diet and you lost the weight for a little bit and then you gained it right back. <laughs> or you did a detox, like, and gained the weight right back. There is no easy way out. You have to put in the work for it to be a long-lasting result. Like, literally, I'm telling you. And then number five, I would have to say you have to find something to keep your body moving. You don't have to lift weight. Not everybody's into that. When I first started, you know what I used to do? I used to do kickboxing because it was only 30 minutes and I would literally burn like 400 calories in 30 minutes. And it was perfect. I would go get my workout done with a trainer and just went about my day. If you're not into that, you could go walking, running, whatever you're into. But you need to have some type of exercise because it's just going to help you. Keep your body moving and it's going to speed up this process of you trying to lose weight. I promise you. Like, Just find something that works for you. Even if it's dancing, zumba, lo que sea. Jogging. So people love hiking. Like, You're just going to have something that you need to find something that works for you. Like... That's going to be key in this journey, sis. Okay? So, let's get into the questions from Instagram. And then I would give you guys, like, some ideas of what I used to eat and things that I used to do. Because um, I tried everything. <laughs> Ciao. I tried everything. Fat burners. All that good stuff. Like, I got you. I'm going to tell you all the tea so you don't have to spend no money on shit that's not going to work. Okay? we got the questions so let's start with the first question um i don't know if i'll do all of them but i'll try because i don't want to make this too long and bore you guys um so okay so can you please tell us what was the gym part of your journey i don't have time for the gym so i did put that in like my non-negotiable um five things that you needed to do to lose weight i would say if you don't have time for the gym try to do at least 30 minutes of a workout at home or if you have a dog, go for a walk or without the dog. Just try to do something to keep your body moving. Like get some steps in. I literally have been trying to do at least a mile on the treadmill. Like I would just do that. Because when I started, it was during the pandemic. So at first, at first, 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 I wasn't able to go to kickboxing because it wasn't open. I started doing that like a month after. But the first month when I started my weight loss journey, I would just jump rope in my backyard. I would do that until I got tired <laughs> and that was pretty much it because there was nothing else that I could do and I had a treadmill at home but it was so boring to me so I would just like reject it and just do whatever cardio I could do in the backyard there's like a million apps where you could get like 30 minute workouts on your phone lay a little towel by your bed sis and just get your body moving because it's just gonna help you get your metabolism going and your energy like and just them calories. You need to burn them calories to lose that weight, girl. So I would definitely recommend trying to do something, even if it's not 30 minutes. And if you don't have time for the gym, at least try to do something at home. Okay, so somebody said workout routine. Um, <laughs> I guess I will have to do a separate video to show you guys like a workout routine. But when I first started, like I said, I was going to kickboxing because I didn't know much about the gym. And I wanted to just... Have somebody guide me through this whole process. So it was really good having somebody. So I feel like I know sometimes training trainers could be expensive. But if you're able to pay for one, like it's really worth it. Because even if it's for a little bit of time, they'll show you. They'll guide you and know like so you can know what to do. Um, Yeah, even myself now, like I've been lifting for two years and I'm going back to my trainer like it just being around other people just the energy and having somebody push you sometimes it can make it easier because when i go by myself to the gym sometimes i'm just like i'm bored like i just want to go home and i don't push myself hard enough so yeah that i don't 
that's like my workout routine i guess my trainer had the workout routine for me because i didn't want to have to keep track of that when i was just starting okay so i'm on a weight loss journey but i can't stop eating junk food and eat girl come over here okay cocotazo that's like there are so many alternatives to junk food i i know it, it's not the same and it don't taste the same but you have to sacrifice like you want that flat stomach you want that shape you have to sacrifice like just with anything in life it's all about discipline you trust me i'm dominican i love fried food rice all of that stuff and i live with my mom still so like she would cook and i would have to be like i'm not eating that you know how hard that is like nope i'm not eating that like i'm making my own food because we got goals, baby. I'm trying to be slim, thick, period. So that's really going to have to be like a mind thing and try to find alternatives. Because there is other alternatives to fast food. Even And fast food is not good for you, girl. You better stop eating that. If I find out who you are, I'm going to go get you, okay? There's really other <laughs> alternatives. Even like I'm a dessert person. I started like going on Pinterest and finding dessert ideas while you're losing weight and they have so many like pinterest was my best friend for that like i would just google and check on pinterest and get ideas and that's how i got through this and now literally like this is my life like i'm not on a diet but right now i'm trying to lose weight so i'm gonna diet again but for the two years i kept the weight off for two years guys and i was still doing everything that i was doing I would just watch what I was eating throughout the week. I wouldn't eat past seven. We're gonna get to that. You see, I got a lot of info for y'all. Um, but I don't eat past seven unless I'm out with my friends or something, like a, a special occasion. But during the week, at seven, my mouth is closed for food. Like, cause you need to have, an, you need to give yourself enough time for your food to digest. Because once you lay down, your stomach is sleeping. <laughs> you don't want to wait till 10 p.m to have a meal like and then go straight to bed it's it's not good so i used to literally have my last meal at seven that was it okay workout a lot of people ask me this like workouts to keep your curves or how you did to lose your stomach and not your butt i'm gonna be 100 percent transparent with you guys and honest when you lose weight you're gonna lose weight overall like your whole body it's gonna lose weight the reason why me personally i lost weight in my stomach and i still like i lost a lot of weight from my legs and my butt too like my butt was bigger <laughs> gross but this is just my body shape like i'm not even gonna lie to you guys my mom is literally shaped like this way like this is just my family and when i lose the weight it just it proportions like my body stays proportional that way like i don't really do any workout or anything that is as specific for that um so i i don't want to give you like false hope but one thing i can tell you is that when you start losing weight you're probably gonna see your body you're gonna start losing weight like all over um so that's where the gym comes in place and you want to like lifting weights that will help you like if you're looking to grow muscle and if you want to grow your butt or something like things like that with working out and lifting weights you can get that um it takes time it takes work but it's possible like it's really doable but i don't do anything in a specific um to keep my shape because my body is just shaped this way um okay okay let's see i said do you meal prep or do you wing it i meal prepped i meal prepped literally most of my food and to this day i still try to meal prep as much as i can i know sometimes it's boring and some days i'm not gonna lie to you i threw my food out and i would just eat something else um because it, it could get tiring especially eating the same thing so i would take breaks i would meal prep one week and then the next week i would try to cook my meals fresh um but yeah meal prepping was definitely a lifesaver for me like because your meals are prepped like i mean i wouldn't say cook more than three to four days um worth of food because it, it gets gross like really i'm being honest like 
it tastes nasty like the food doesn't taste the same so it's you're gonna get bored which is why i tell people don't be so strict when you're getting on a like on a diet or you're trying to lose weight you cannot be so strict with yourself eating a salad one salad a day it's not gonna do it for you i pinky promise i was still eating what i wanted to eat i found alternatives for things that i know weren't good for me trying to lose weight and portion control the portion that you eat it's very important like it's key i'm gonna like do a video of me of me meal prepping so you guys can get an idea of like what i did and what that looked like so that'll be my next video for you guys because i know it's very helpful i used to watch those literally all the time but yes meal prepping was a key <laughs> factor because it just keeps you accountable food is ready you, you can't say no especially i wasn't working after the pandemic i went back to the office and i needed to have my food ready because if you don't take food people, you'll just order out like you're not actually gonna we know you're gonna order some food or you're gonna go get some takeout so i would bring my meals because people at offices they love being like there's donuts in the back there's this like no it's but it comes with discipline girl like i promise you you have to be you have to want it and you have to get serious with yourself i feel like starting a weight loss journey the first thing it's mental like you have to tell yourself like we're doing this like no excuses when i first started i literally used to tell my friends like don't invite me out to eat because i'm not going and if we're going out to eat i would literally watch what i ate like I was very serious about my weight loss like I was not playing because I was not it was non-negotiable for me to drop this weight like I was expecting myself to lose at least two pounds every week like not playing right so um back to the questions somebody somebody come get her somebody asked me what made you comfortable going to the gym by yourself and that goes back to what I was saying earlier I first started with a trainer just so I can get comfortable and if you are looking to start like lifting weights, I didn't, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to be hurting myself because you can hurt yourself at the gym and who wants that? So I wanted to make sure that I was doing things correctly, which is I did kickboxing and then I did that for like three months. And then once I felt like I outgrew that and I wanted more, I started with a trainer three times a week and he would teach, like he was teaching me form and stuff because that's when I wanted to get into lifting weight. And then after I already had trained with him, I was like, okay, I think I'm ready to just pop out. And I would go super early in the morning. So like there wasn't that many people there. Um, so that made it better for me. And then find a gym that you like. Um, Cause there's like a lot of gyms that the vibe is just weird. Like I didn't like the edge because there's way too many people and everybody that I went to school with goes there. Like, you know? So I try to find a gym that not a lot of people that I knew were there just so I can feel more comfortable and people are not like, you know, people are so annoying. And I didn't, I don't know. At first I felt like I was always being judged by people. <laughs> like I always thought I was doing something wrong. But with time, literally with time, you'll get confidence and you'll be okay. I promise you. But I did start with a trainer and after that, that's when I got comfortable. I didn't just start by myself right away. Okay, 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 let's see. And somebody said, what has been the most challenging part? Girl, all of it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I feel like for me, the most challenging part has been food because um, I love food. And my problem is that I love sweets. I literally would eat like a whole cake to myself if I could right now, like, I love sweets so that was the hardest part for me just like having to I found other alternatives even though obviously they didn't they were not like the exact same thing I basically settled for that and I was okay with it I got I got used to it literally everything it's like you get used to it that's what it is I've been doing this for two years and I'm at this point I'm used to it like of course if I ever want to treat myself you know I will but you have to know when <laughs> to treat yourself because if you treat yourself every time you lose one pound you're gonna go 10 steps back and we don't want to do that because it's so much work like 
Gaining two pounds is easy, but losing two pounds could be draining, like literally draining. So for me, definitely the most challenging part was food. I don't like vegetables. So it was just like, what am I going to eat? <laughs> like, what am I going to eat? So I just had to play around. Like I said, I used to Pinterest. I used to go on Pinterest, like, what can I eat? I used to go here on YouTube and I found amazing videos back then um, that just helped me like to keep going and to give me ideas for meals because it gets it could get boring and tiring. So that's another thing. I wouldn't recommend eating the same thing over and over. Switch it up because you don't want to get bored. That's why I say when people be like, oh, I'm on a diet and I'm having one salad and one egg for breakfast girl you're gonna that's not realistic you're gonna get tired you have to make sure that you find a balance with this diet so i would for example let's get into what i used to eat um i feel like i answer almost all the questions a lot of them are the same the same um for example when i first started um i pretty much wanted to get rid of carbs because i want to fast results at the like i was desperate so i was not eating much carbs like you know slowly cut out rice i know but i know it's tough i know it's tough girl it's tough for me i like potatoes more than rice so just at first i cut out all of that like i'm gonna be realistic at the beginning i used to have two eggs in the morning and then i would make this juice get with pineapples um cucumber it was just pineapples and cucumber that's what i used to have pineapple cucumber with water um and then two eggs because that's like look like a cleanse that'll clean you out so that's what i wanted to do so for the first month i was having like the same breakfast over and over and that's why i'm saying things get tiring because at one point i'm like i'd rather not eat because i'm so bored with my meals and that's when i had to like google it and spice things up and i found like things that work for me like seriously it depends what you like to eat some people love vegetables and if you're one of those good for you because i'm sure this is probably easier for you than for me um so yeah for breakfast i would have that and then lunch i would have like a sandwich a tuna sandwich i love tuna so i would have tuna or either like tuna with a few crackers that's what I'm saying. You don't have to starve yourself. And then I would have a nuts or a fruit in between. And then for dinner, I would have, this is what I was having like every day. And it was just chick chicken and broccoli. Like I was just eating that a lot. <laughs> and, and a protein shake if I got hungry. Like, but other than that, like at first, that's all I was eating. I wanted to keep it simple. And with the things that I like, because I'm low key a picky eater. So it made it made it was really hard for me to find like things that I liked. So at first, that's all I was eating. To be honest, um, I probably should have been eating more. And as I have gone through this journey, I have learned that you are able to eat more and you'll still lose weight. So yeah, so I started doing that and I started doing my research. And then at one point, I was even having, I remember sweet plantains, like half a sweet plantain, with, you know some type of protein and then like a side salad um and i was still losing weight at that time i'm trying to remember guys it's been two years so it's like me trying to remember those meals it's a lot but one thing that i used to do i used to track my meals if you go into my fitness poll that's what it's called my fitness poll. let me see yep that's what it's called my fitness poll so I did delete the app of my phone because I didn't have more storage. That's why. But it this is what it looks like. You go in there and it's going to ask you for your weight, your current weight. It's going to ask you for your gold weight, your age, your height, all of that good stuff. It's going to ask you if you're active. It's going to ask you all the questions and it's going to tell you how many calories you should be eating. So I used to go base I used to go base off that. Like Obviously, with healthy food, like if I had 500 calories left, I wouldn't go eat a burger at McDonald's that was 500 calories. I would just have a meal at home that was equal to that 500 calories because having enough 
like you need to be intaking enough protein all of that good stuff in order to be losing fat and weight like the more protein you intake that's gonna help you lose fat so key you don't have to starve yourself sis i have to say this again because at first i literally thought that i would have to have one salad a day and that's not the case at all i was still able to eat other things that i liked so um i was not doing keto but i would find a lot of alternatives um like for example keto desserts like i would do things like that because again i love desserts so i was able to save calories and you know sugar and all of that when i was having a little keto dessert or something um oh zucchini zucchini i used to make zucchini pasta good but you cannot meal prep that because it tastes gross after like the second day but that's like a keto meal that people make and it fills you up i'm not gonna tell you it tastes like pasta because i'm not here to lie to you either but in the imagination it's good and it's no carbs so it's perfect so i would say definitely just look into like alternatives for things that you like if you're really into pasta look for something that it's less carbs and portion control like it's very important make sure you're me not measuring your food that's a little extreme but like get a little bowl and if it fits like this then you good um especially for carbs like that's very important because you don't want to be overeating carbs um like i said guys i'm not a nutritionist so i can't tell you like what you should be eating because like i said everybody's different but definitely get the app i promise you you'll get some help out of it it was really helpful and you can scan like the items i have a disney order in here so for example if you are eating yogurt you can scan the yogurt and it's gonna tell you like this yogurt had this many calories this much sugar this much that and you ate this much out of the amount of calories you were supposed to eat this today so that would keep you on track and you'll know how much more you have to keep eating. I literally cut out sugar from my life. Like, tough. That's tough for me. But I literally stopped juice. So all of that, like, I don't even, I don't even be thinking about that anymore because I got so used to it. I literally just drink water. I love seltzer water. So I just, whenever I want, like, a little more, I would just have, like, a seltzer water. Um. Ooh, this is a big one. And this is a big one. The first two months when I started, I didn't have any alcohol. Hard. It was so hard, but I had like I had to do it. Because alcohol, it's just it sets you back. <laughs> Baby, if you're eating good all day and then you're having all the sugary alcohol drinks, all that progress that you made from having a good healthy meal, you just fucked it up. You just fucked it up with that. So I would definitely say I know it's my that's why it's better to start now than summer because we outside in the summer. It's harder. Like, you want to go out to have a margarita with your friends. Like, so I would say definitely start now and just cut out alcohol for two months and you'll see a difference. I'm telling you, no alcohol, no juice, no soda. You'll see a difference. Like, um, if you eating white bread, switch your bread, girl. Like, switch it. Get some wheat bread and obviously don't eat the whole thing. Like, a whole freaking packet of bread. Just... I used to have one slice of bread instead of two at first. Um, and then you'll find things that you like. I promise you. Just do your research. Go on Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I used to find so many meal ideas on there. If you're a dessert girl, they have like little desserts that you can make. It's It was really helpful for me. So I definitely recommend just looking into that and researching like meals what else what else i want to make sure that i don't forget anything oh i can't forget this i was doing i was fasting <laughs> i don't know why but that was a good idea but i was i was like i said i was desperate so i was fasting from i my last meal used to be at seven and i do, didn't eat anything till 11. i didn't eat anything till 11 on the next day imagine that girl I got used to it. It was hard as fuck at first. And I got then I got used to it. But it really didn't do... Like, it didn't speed up the process for me. Nothing. It was just... If, if anything, it probably slowed me down. So, that's why, like, everything you see in the internet, don't believe it. 
I have tried every fat burner, pill, detox, all of that stuff. That shit really don't be working. Like, it's really your diet. Like, that's really the key to losing weight. It's what you're putting in your body. Like, your meals, your food, alcohol, all that stuff. Um, did fasting. It was kind of pointless. I didn't lose, like, any extra weight for me. Basically starving myself. Um, but I don't eat past 7. That's one thing that I don't do. I eat normally. Like, whatever time I wake up, I eat. But I don't eat anything past 7 unless I'm out at dinner, you know? Like, but I used to, my friends are the real MVP because when I was doing my diet, I used to tell them, like, we got to go to dinner at 5 so I could have my meal before 7 and then we're good to go, you know? Um, but I was serious about it and having supportive people, supportive people around you, it's very important because if somebody's always inviting you out to eat, knowing that you're trying to lose weight, do they really care about you, like... Let's be fucking for real. Um, so definitely, hopefully, I hope your friends are supporting you through this or your family, whoever it is. Because it's really, like, important to have that support. Because, whew, I used to tell my mom, like, girl, don't cook that. Don't make that. You know I like that. Like, come on, help me out here. Don't stress me out like that. So, yeah. I really think that's all I got for you guys. I feel like I've been talking for a minute. But I'm just going to recap from the beginning, guys. Your meals. Try to move your body at least 30 minutes throughout the day. Try to cut out alcohol. No negotiable for us. No juice, no soda. Just cut it out. If, I mean, you could, maybe you could have like one during the weekend. But I didn't. I just cut it from the freaking nip it from the butt because i feel like it was just unnecessary sugar that you don't want you know so if you're able to do that do it google some new meals on pinterest if you're able to meal prep i would definitely recommend it because it would it keeps you on track like child it keeps you on track um and that's it that's really it guys and just the biggest thing with all of this is discipline that's gonna be my keyword for this. You have to have discipline. Um, it doesn't matter who's inviting you out to eat. You know that you can't. And if you go out to eat, you have to be disciplined enough to know what to eat and at what time to eat it. <sighs> it's hard. I know it, it's not like the easiest thing ever to do, but it's 100% worth it. Not just for looks, but for your health. Like. You just feel much better. Like, I don't know. It's like a weight lifter off your shoulder, literally. Um, I would, yeah. I don't wanna. I don't wanna hear no more excuses. I want you to weight yourself. Write that down. Measure yourself. Sometimes you're, you don't lose weight right away from the scale, and you might start losing inches. Sometimes it could be like low key depressing when you're like trying to check your the scale. And it's not moving, but you're losing inches. Like, that was happening to me at one point. Um, I I would say that I still have a bad relationship with the scale. And I do check my weight, like, really often. I don't recommend that because it could drive you crazy. But for me personally, it just, it keeps me sane. <laughs> it keeps me on track. I just be like, okay, let me weight myself today. Let's see if what I'm doing is working. Um... But at one point, I did have to put, like, my scale away because um, I was weighing myself, like, a few times throughout the day. And I was getting a little cuckoo, you know? It's a, it's a big transition. Like, you're literally changing your eating habits. You're seeing your body change. It's a lot. But I know that you can do it. And I believe in you. And I got you, sis. Literally, I got you. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. Because I do be posting meals, ideas there. Here and there, I be posting on my stories. And I'm going to just post more. Because I know how hard it was for me when I was doing it. And if I'm able to help you guys with any tips, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me down below or send me a DM. I Sometimes my DMs do get, like, floated. But I even if it takes me days, I get back to all my girls. Like, I try to get back to you guys. 
and answer questions or anything like that. And I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Ugh, I have a lot going on tomorrow. Either tomorrow, Monday, or Tuesday. But I'm going to bring you guys along. Like, I'm going to show you guys what I get at the supermarket and how I meal prep my food and how I measure everything. Um, and yeah. Because, yeah, girl did that. It, it was a lot of work, but I went from 112 pounds. I got down to 182. That was the lowest that I got. But I have built muscle throughout that situation. So I was really feeling really good. Like, I was at a good place. I was still not at my gold weight when I got down to that weight. Um, but I was feeling good. I was feeling happy. I was feeling strong. Like, it was really good. And then... If you're new here, I got sick with my stomach. <laughs> I feel like I bring this up a lot, but it just, it set me back a lot. So I gained weight now. I'm 192 pounds. So I did gain a lot of weight, but I have built so much muscle throughout these two years that my body has transformed. So even though I gain weight and I'm 192 pounds, I might not look it, you know? But I'm still trying to get down to 175. That will be my ideal weight. Um... So I'm working towards that right now. So we can actually do this together all over again. Um, I still got some weight to go. So yeah, I'm going to be meal prepping. All of that good stuff. Um, I am going back to my trainer. So I'm not going to have like a workout routine. It's going to be his workout routine. Um, so if he's okay with like me recording, I'm sure he'll be, yeah. It'll be because it's like a group class. I'm sure it will, it will be fine for me to record whenever I do start going again. And yeah, I really hope you guys find this video helpful and don't wait any longer. Start your journey, sis. I know you're literally gonna thank me two months down the road when you're closer to your goal weight or you're at your goal weight because we all have different goals. Um, don't compare yourself to anybody else's journey because yours is yours, okay? It I sometimes lose weight quick. Like, I can lose five pounds in one week, one month, and then the next month I lose nothing or I'll lose one pound even though I'm still putting the same work. I know it can be frustrating, but I promise you it's worth it. There's nothing better than, like, feeling good, you know? So just get it done. You got this. We're going to be checking in. Stay tuned for my meal prep video. I got you. And I'll do a few of those with different ideas. Just let me know what you guys want to see. I'm here. If you guys need anything, it's literally my pleasure to help other people. That it's my love language. It's being able to help others. So if there's anything that I can do to help you guys, like just ask. Literally, um, one DM away. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to make it any longer. I hope I answered all the questions. I'm sorry if I was all over the place. My brain can function too well. I'm like too jumpy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I love you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And it was helpful and informal. Inform, infer, that's not even a word. Informal. Probably enough. Anyways, forget it. I hope this video was informational. There you go. My English is not very good looking sometimes. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not going to keep um. But I hope you guys enjoy. And let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. DM me. Follow me on Instagram. Everything will be down below. And I will see you guys on my next video. And thank you so much for watching. You got this. Sis. Get it done. <laughs>